Hey, guitar people, I got a intro for you today. It's um, Loretta Lynn. The song is called You're Looking at Country. And it's a cool intro because the, like, uh, the part that you and I are about to play is actually on a slide, like a lap, like a dobro, right? Like one of these, <laughs> you know? And um, the cool thing about it is that the acoustic guitar and the dobro are kind of like trading off and on. Like one will play something and as it's about to die out, the other one, uh, the other one will like overtake it. And then when that one starts to die out, the other one will overtake that and they keep doing that. And, and um, something I should mention is that I moved the song up a whole step. If you want to play along with the album, it's in the key of uh, B flat. I moved it up to C major. And the reason I did that is because if you want to play along with the album, you have to throw a capo on it because they're doing things like those uh, G runs and C runs. And if you're playing it like not having a capo, you're not able to do that. So if you want to leave the capo off, C major, but I'll go through both ways. So let's check it out. All right. So like I was saying, this song, if you want to play along with the recording, it's in the key of B flat, at which point you'd have to put a capo on fret three, I think. Anyway, we'll get to that in a, in a second. Uh, but we're going to do it in the key of C major here. And then it's got a C, an F, a G, and a C major again. And there's a part in, I believe it's the chorus, where she uses a, a D major chord. But we're going to... So, even though it's in the key of C, it starts out on the intro over the G chord, the five chord. So the cool thing about this intro is that the acoustic guitar and that, like, slide like the lap slide whatever you call it the dobro <clears throat> are like trading on and off and on and off and they like really complement each other <clears throat> so so to give you an idea it's like it starts off with that slide what like we're gonna play and right when it does that the acoustic goes as that is ringing, this slide comes back in and goes. It's cool how like one trails off, the other one will like pick it up, and then the other one trails off, the other one picks it up. But anyway, so we'll get into this right now. I'll put the tabs up real quick, and then I'll explain it to you. And then to explain like what's happening here, it's actually like pretty generic like uh, country music stuff. You know, you're starting over the G chord in the key of C, and you're starting on a G note here, and so you got a G and a B, and right. And if we recall, the notes of G major are G, a B is in boy, and a D is in dog. So we got a G and a B. It's a, it's a major third. Then we're just going to go up the G major scale. So if we harmonize it, it would be. But we're going to add in. 
that flat three as a chromatic, right? So we're going to have that GB. And we're kind of like sliding in. Right? So we got a major third here. And we go up the scale and we have a minor third. And then we're going to grab that high G and give it a slide. Then we're going to come to So it's like And then we got That's like if you're like playing over a G chord train whistle thing like from, uh, from the other video it's very common in country and blues train whistle and you land on the G and that train whistle if you're ever wondering like oh where am I supposed to do it at if you're over a G chord you do it on the five you go up to the D G, B, D, right? One, two, three, four, five. Do, re, mi, fa, so. It's a D. You go up to the D. And then you, you come down. A, 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 a major third. So we got... It's another G. So after the train thing, and what that is, is, right, you, you, uh, you can think of that as just harmonizing still in that G major scale, like if you take your G and you gotta... That's right there, that fret 12 and 12, and you're just sliding into it, walking chromatically down, and then you're going to land on a C major chord, and that's when it goes, that's from a C major, right? Like if you imagine a bar chord, you got your G string and your high uh, C note right there. And that's when the acoustic player would go. <laughs> I missed that note. Yeah, so it, it would be like. That's when it would go. And you keep strumming. And right after that is when you would come back and go. That's just a uh, minor pentatonic C. That's and then it goes into This little girl go walk the country and I'm just a find her a good old slow talking country phone. Say country phone. I'm about as old fashioned as I can be and I hope that I know what you see. If you're looking at me, you're looking at country. Some uh, Leon Rhodes type style playing there from Ernest uh, Tub Band. I love that. So yeah, so so between the slide, which is what like we're playing only on an actual guitar and the acoustic strummer there's a trade-off between like what they're playing it's really cool how they complement each other like that
So now if you want to uh, pick along with the recording, it's in the key of B flat, a whole step down. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to grab a capo because you got to use open strings to do those like uh, G runs. And we're going to put it on fret three. So let's try that. All right. So we got our capo here. And so what the goal is, is we need to uh, make a chord out of, out of this note. Here's our B, here's our B flat. And we, so the reason that we have to use a capo, here I'll move back so you can see my whole neck. Put it on fret three, right? And, and regardless of if you have it on or off, if you do this shape, it's still gonna be a B flat. But now if you put it on, you can play a G shape chord. Straighten this up a little bit. Right? So now, since we have that shape chord, this is like a bluegrass thing. We can do those G runs. So now the G the G our B flat is our one chord. And our uh, five chord is D shape, but it's an F, right? Here, it, so this note here is an F. So here's our F, and we're playing it over the F chord, which is a D shape, I know. But it'll be like... Here's an F. it like using the capo because I was going to do this song with my sister and I decided not to use it so I can play it in the key of C really good but um yeah it's just the same thing it's the exact same th like thing but now what you have to be aware of is <clears throat> so when you're playing it in the key of C major your one chord is starting on your A string right now <clears throat> If you put the capo on and you play it this way, your one chord is starting on your uh, sixth string, your uh, low E. So some of those kind of things are like um, shifted around. I mean, but you can still like figure it out. But I just like this a lot because... It's just cool, man. It, it's like like simple and cool, and I love how the two guitars are like trading and like counteracting each other. And yeah, I don't really know what else I could say about that. So that's gonna wrap things up for today. Um, I hope that you're able to like uh, take something from this. Anytime I learn a new piece of uh, music, it's yeah, it's awesome to play something new, but at the same time. The greatest thing, I think, is the things that you can like absorb from it. And as uh, something like something like uh, this piece, <clears throat> it's those simple things, but it, it's like very helpful. So, like we said, we're in the key of C, and we're going to start out over our G chord. And that's our starting on C. One, two, three, four, five. Do re mi fa so. That's the uh, G. Starting on that G. Now we gotta go to that train whistle thing. How do you get the train whistle? Well, the G is relative to that C. It, it's the five. Now, if we're playing on that G, in order to get the train whistle, you go to its five. And that's the highest note there.
So it's the, like, if you can just absorb that kind of stuff, it helps you playing a ton. And that's the kind of things that I look out, like to try to like take in when I'm learning a piece of music. So anyway, I'm not going to go on a whole big thing right now, but um, I'll wrap this up and you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. And you just keep on picking.